Welcome to On Deck. I'm Tyler Edmund. I'm here with Mr. D Daryl Cheney at the Daryl Cheney United Way Golf Tournament. And you've been doing this golf tournament for 12 years? 16. This 16. Is our, wow. Yeah, this is our 16th year uh, up here in the mountains. And uh, that's when I moved up here about 16 years ago, Tyler. That's Before it. that, you know, living in Atlanta, I was uh, involved in the Major League Alumni uh, Association Golf Tournament. We ran that thing for 19 years. so. <laughs> I got 35 years of this stuff under my belt, but uh, you ought to be pretty good at it by now, all right? Yeah, we're doing all right. And uh, this little community up here, it's a big, big deal. I and I appreciate it. you coming out and uh, giving us some coverage and stuff, because uh, yeah, it, all the money stays right here in White County, and it's a, it's just a, it's a big thing. It's a big thing for a small community. I believe it. Now, you coming here is a big deal in itself. Uh, that World Series ring yeah, right there, there. In Cincinnati. Flash it out there to the camera. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. one. Actually, played in three. You played in three. You won one, yeah. and you know you got to play with one of the best teams in baseball history, Big Red Machine. Is there anybody that you just took to? Any like you know Johnny Bench, Pete Rose, Joe Morgan, Tony Perez? You know, playing around those guys for for that long. Is it how well did you mesh with them? Well, you know, back in our day, uh, we didn't uh, have our own suites like they do today. Yeah. You know, so a room by yourself. We had roommates and. Uh, so I, I had a number of different roommates over the years, but uh, I really took a liking and, and uh, you know, everybody took a liking uh, to one another because we were just bonded. You know how you win championships? It's not just, just the talent, it's how you can get along for 162 games. Yeah. But I, uh, uh, I became real good friends with Jack Billingham and Doug Flynn, and they both played in this tournament before. They're not here this year, but, uh, uh, and, and Dave Bristol, who was my yeah. manager in Cincinnati, my first manager, what, what, He's the guy that got me traded to Atlanta because he became the manager of the Braves. Dave will be here. He's going into the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame this year. Uh, Jack's already in it. And so those three guys, uh, I've gone fishing with, uh, with Doug and Jack. I've gone hunting with them, you know, you know hang around yeah. post-baseball with guys like that. And our wives get along great together. So uh, uh, we've done a lot of things over the years with them and stayed in touch with them and still do uh, today. And uh, one, of the, one of the nice things about a celebrity golf tournament like this is it helps you continue those relationships after baseball. Absolutely. Now, you mentioned Dave Bristol. He brought you to Atlanta. Um, when you came to Atlanta, you started working with TBS. Is that right? Yeah. You started working with Pete Van Weir and Skip Carey and Ernie Johnson yeah. Sr. You know, what was that like? Oh, well, it was great. You know, I had, um, when I was in Cincinnati, uh, I had, uh, had the des desire to stay in the game the rest of my life. And then one of the ways I thought about, well, maybe I can stay in the game by being a broadcaster. So uh, at the time I mentioned that, uh, Al Michaels was the Reds' radio voice, yeah. and Al said to me, "What are you going to do when you get done playing?" This is my rookie year, and I said, "Well, I just got here. I haven't heard about Critton yet." And he said, "Well, you've got one of these resonant voices. We ought to, uh, you ought to consider a, a broadcasting career when your playing days are over." So he helped me enroll at, in the Columbia School of Broadcasting, and they had a they had a school down there in, in Cincinnati, and they had one here in Atlanta. So when I got traded to Atlanta, I continued that, and I got what they called back then. Uh, a third class operator's license. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we, you know, I, when, 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 then when Ted Turner bought the team five, after, five days after I got traded here, the first social event we went to, I said, hey, Ted, when I'm done playing for you, uh, I'll be a broadcaster for you. <laughs> so you got me for a long time. And uh, sure enough, after I, I got released as a player, they hired me as a broadcaster and I signed a two year contract. And uh, I love working with those guys. I was the first of the of the fourth guy in, in the, in the uh, broadcast booth for WTBS. That's cool. Pete Van Weeren, Ernie Johnson, Skip Carey, and me. Now it's you know Don Sutton and, and uh, all those guys, but Don Sutton doesn't do TV anymore. So anyway, it was, uh, it was a fun, fun two years. The Braves won the pennant in 82, yeah. lost to the Cardinals in the playoffs. And uh, so it was fun doing that. I did live post-game TV interviews uh, for both years, and that's hard to it's yeah. hard to get somebody to come and do an interview with you. Right after the game was over is when we did them. And sometimes you only had two minutes, sometimes you had to do 20 minutes. So yeah. that's, that was a pretty good experience. But anyway, I got fired. <laughs> you know, I got fired, and then I had to go to work and make a living. Well, that's, let's talk about that, your life after baseball. Uh, what did you, you know, how did you come into doing United Way and golf tournaments? And was it just a, a way to keep those relationships with the people you had met in years prior? And when I got out of the game, uh, I tried to stay in the game, but I couldn't get a job, e even in yeah. broadcasting or on the field. I just the, the timing just didn't work, so I had to go to work. I got in the real estate business, but I also was contacted by Nellie Bryles, former pitcher of the Cardinals and and, uh, and the Pirates, who's passed away since then. Uh, 
he, he said, why don't you get involved with the Major League Alumni Association? So I became a board member for about 20 years. Uh, I was on that board, and then they de we, uh, we uh, created a marketing arm, a for-profit arm of uh, a 501c3, which the Major League Alumni Association was. And the for-profit arm was to help former ball players. And the lifeblood at that time of the Major League Alumni Association was uh, our charity golf tournaments, our celebrity charity golf tournaments, proceeds being split between the Alumni Association and a charity of our, that we chose to work with, okay? So I'm a Christian, so I've been, I've been, uh, I've had this desire all along to be, to help people. Yeah. So that got me going into this stuff. And then, and then, uh, you know, uh, we did it for 19 years there. I moved up here and uh, the gentleman that I was banking with asked me one day uh, if I would uh, be glad, if I would help them raise money for United Way in White County. And I said, well, I'm all for that. What, what do you have in mind? He said, well, we want to, we've got our first annual golf tournament. Uh, it, and uh, we want to auction you off as a uh, as a celebrity. Maybe we can make some extra money that way. I said, <laughs> I said you know what? I think you guys are nuts. I said, who's going to pay to play golf with me? You know, really. I bet you and, somebody did. Yeah, and a gentleman named Bill Thomas, who owns a local uh, dental laboratory here called Smile Science. Uh, I'm standing in front of about 24 guys in golf carts at this little golf course up the road here. First time they decided to try yeah. and raise money with a golf money. And they're auctioning me off in front of all these guys. And I'm standing there and guys are bidding on me and all this guy. Well, Bill walks it up to $800 to play golf with me. And so when, uh, when uh, uh, I started playing, after about the fourth hole, we were talking. The local newspaper, which comes out once a yeah. week here, had, uh, had followed us around. And uh, uh, Bill Thomas and I and Bill Sutton Jr., the gentleman who asked me to come and play, uh, so I said, you know, if you guys really want to make this grow this event and make a lot more money for United We got to make it a total celebrity event. Yeah. Total celebrity event. Well, how are we going to do that? And I said, well, there's, that's where I come in. Yeah. And at the time, I was uh, chairman of the board of the uh, alumni marketing group, and we had a really good reciprocal arrangement with the NFL Alumni Association. A uh, football player for the Falcons, linebacker named Dewey McClain. He's been here every year. Yeah. He'll be here again. He's seen him this year. Yeah, has he already checked in? Yeah, he comes I haven't up, seen him, but he comes I've up, seen him. He comes up really to enjoy the, uh, uh, the, the, the amenities. <laughs> up here. So uh, uh, Dewey and his wife Linda have really been supportive. So we started the next year after I got auctioned off. The next year we had 36 celebrities up here, football and baseball yeah. players. And since then it's grown into word of mouth to you know celebrities and so forth. Uh, and we've got Olympians, uh, we've got uh, basketball, football, we had a couple hockey players. So and I'm in charge of getting the celebrities up here and all that. But the key to the whole thing, Tyler, was uh, I said if you all want me to get involved in this, uh, I, for being a, a community, you know, 100 miles north yeah. of Atlanta, if you want these celebrities to come up here, uh, we don't pay anybody to play in this event. Just come on up. But once you get up here, we'll take care of everything for yeah. you and your and your wife. I said, I want, I've got all these celebrity tournaments and, and my wife can go, but she, she's not a part of anything. So uh, we've got a, we've got a, while we're playing golf tomorrow, the guests or the ladies, uh, or the wives of the golfers are all going to be out on a, on a day on their own, wine tasting and lunch yeah. and all that kind of thing. So it's become a popular event for the spouses and the guests of our celebrities, which makes them want to come back because the I'll wife will that. say, you know, honey, I had a good time up there. You better, when you get an invitation to go back, you better go because I want to go. <laughs> yeah. So it's grown from that, like, uh, but we have only a limited amount of space here. We It sells out every year. We'll, we'll have two teams on every hole this year. Gonna turn celebrities down? We've got a waiting list. We surely uh, do. I believe that. We have a waiting list, and um, I called uh, um, one guy the other day uh, uh, because we had a celebrity cancel. You got to have a little bit of a waiting list, but when the uh, the invitations go out in January, I ask them uh, to let me know as soon as possible. They can yeah. get on the counter because it's going to be a first come, first serve thing. And that's all we do. So we have a waiting list, and uh, we'll have. Uh, uh, anywhere, at, uh, I think 40 guys are going to be here this year, and yeah. uh, it'll be it'll be good. Well, I want to thank you for your time, Mr. Cheney. You do a great My work. Pleasure. You're certainly a Hall of Famer uh, in life. I right? thank you. God's got us uh, on this earth to, to do significant things, and I think this is one of the things that uh, He's put me uh, uh, involved and got me involved in. So it's uh, and a lot of people will work on this thing, and uh, the folks here at Innsbruck, and the you know the hotel rooms are comped. For 14, 16 years, we've had 40 hotel rooms given to these guys. That's and some of them stay two, three nights. <laughs> it's, a lot of, 
in kind, all the food, Big Daddy's Restaurant, and, uh, and our title sponsor is GunBroker.com, so if you ever want to buy or sell a gun on the internet, that's the place to go. This guy, Steve Irvin, runs it, and it's uh, i got to put my sponsor here. <laughs> I don't know why you go Thank ahead. you. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you so much. All right, sir.